Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £200 worth of 10 piece to have a hunt through. Looking for the alphabet 10 P's. Ideally we want some of the ones we're still missing. Nope, not that book first. 2018 is the first book. We are missing two. G and T. We've got all the others. We're getting so close to finishing our first ever book of 10 P's. It's taken nearly, if not already, 100 episodes. That's a lot of 10 P's we've looked through to try and fill these books out. 2019 though, all we have is C E G H J L M R O U N V. So plenty to find for 2019. But without further ado, let's get into these coins. So let's get into the questions then. Um, Raging Ash says, love your videos by the way. Also my question is, uh, that I can go to any bank in London and change cash into coins, for example, £30 in cash into 50p coins. It depends entirely entirely on your branch. Um, there's not specific banks that will let you, there's not specific banks that won't let you. It's down to the branch, that how many, I guess, their footfall, how, many, how much coins they've got, the mood that the cashier is in at the time, they all play a factor. Uh, but all you can do is go in and ask, and if they will let you do it, then do it. If they won't, find another, find another bank. Ooh, that was quick. M for Macintosh. 2018. Wowie. Well, hopefully that's a sign of good things to come in the rest of the hunt. Um, Andrew Harrison says, I watch your channel religiously. I am fascinated with all the coins, but 50p coins and £2 coins in particular. I'm a bus driver in Manchester and only started collecting two years ago. Uh, the only coins I have are what have been passed to me. I wish with hindsight I would have started collecting them when the Olympics were first released. Like you, I only keep what I haven't got and what's above face value. Uh, keep up the fan, uh, fabulous content. Wow, I hope you found some awesome coins. Um, Victoria Teasdale says, congratulations on 40,000 subscribers. Who is your favorite non-canon Star Wars character? Ooh. Well, it was always Grand Admiral Thrawn, but he's back into canon and it has been for some time now with the new books, the Rebels, things like that. Um, it's got to be Mara Jade. She was always one of my, again, one of my favourite characters, weird enough, from the same uh, origin books, uh, the, Air to the Empire trilogy, as Grand Admiral Thrawn. But there are so many good characters in that trilogy of books. Talon, Talon Karade? Um, was Bush to Terek? Was, was that? I can't remember. We're getting a bit too niche in, my, in the sort of Star Wars talk. I don't think Bush to Terek was. Booster and Mirax Tarek, I think they were another series, but uh, yes, Mara Jade uh, was always one of my favorite characters in the old expanded universe. I like the solo kids as well, I think they were very cool. Uh, ben Skywalker was a very cool character, um, so yeah, that that would be they were they were characters that I, yeah, I think obviously the solo kids you can't, well, it doesn't make sense in new canon now, but Mara Jade, I'm sure they can slot her in as something not as she what she was the woman who became Luke's wife in the old canon um, but I think she would make a great character in a different part of the franchise and I've seen Timothy Zahn do interviews saying that he could fit her into the universe somewhere if given the green light to do so and I hope uh, beyond hope that eventually he does I get given the opportunity uh, cryptic ooh, ooh. Cryptic was taken says hey Christopher love your videos and the effort you put into them is amazing keep up the good work I'd love to win the two pound RAF set if I don't win it's fine good luck to everyone edit my question is what is your favorite game um, in terms of video games I, I, I really don't have I don't really play many video games anymore I used to play Minecraft with a whole bunch of friends and uh, when it first got released and launched we used to play it so much uh, but the game I've played the most uh, over the longest period of time is RuneScape it's a MMORPG that I've played since 2005 2006 on and off uh, and there was there were points in my life where I was a little bit addicted and I spent the majority of my day I would wake up I'd log onto my computer go into a Skype call all the guys that, that did that were doing exactly the same we'd spend the entire day playing I go to bed I get back up and play for the rest of the next day so that was like my, that was some of my summer holidays and my um, studying time at university was actually spent in that game rather than doing that so I, I loved it though it's a great game and I would still I still go back to it every time every now and again um you can toucan says what's your favorite stainless steel spoon um I, d I don't have a collection of stainless steel spoons someone did send a rolex spoon into the p.o box so that was very very cool i still got that 
Um, you can too can also says 50k by 2021 anyone hopefully hopefully you never know um michael kelly says i would love to win one of the designs great channel thank you very much kabu says i've been watch i've been waiting for this since you started doing giveaways i started collecting because i saw your videos in my recommended list really want to complete my world war 2 and world war 1 set so i really want the spitfire coin i hope i win this keep up the amazing videos and congratulations on 40k subs thank you very much uh, Pajama Idiot, a regular viewer over on the live streams, says, Hi Christopher, I would love to win one of these prizes, if that's okay. I know I have won a giveaway in the past, but I will still attempt this one. Thanks and congr congratulations on 40k subscribers. Good luck to all. I think there would, be, there would be a revolution in the comment section if someone won a giveaway a giveaway twice, but I don't, I don't think there's an issue with that. You've got you got a very small chance of winning. So if you, uh, what's the chance that the lightning is going to strike twice? Very small. Kenny Price says, I recently came across your content by pure luck. I love collecting commemorative 50p, £1, and £2 coins, but have always relied upon pure luck of receiving it in change. I wondered how do you go about getting large quantities of coins and then what you do with standard circulated coins and those commemoratives you have multiples of. So uh, I get them from one bank. Uh, I hunt through them and then the majority of them that I don't keep go back to the bank so I can then transfer that money electronically and then get more out of the other bank and it's just a big cycle it's the same money but it's different coins going round and round in this sort of big circle um, the ones I keep I keep obviously new ones that I need for the book I keep any coins that are over face value uh, and I store them in my collection if you go back and look at uh, it was obviously after this after this uh, comment was posted but recent fairly recently the last couple of months i put a whole collection video out you can see all the coins that i've kept uh, in that marathon of a video um n001 says will you see the new sonic the hedgehog animated movie i i didn't and i have no plans to do so samuel davis says hi i love your channel i'm not sure how it works but could i be entered into the giveaway <laughs> your comment entered you don't you worry you you were a part of it um em emily ellis says hi christopher i love your videos team tower team tower <laughs> we're gonna win dc gaming 1712 says hello great giveaway what's your favorite old denomination coin and what's your favorite a to z 10p my favorite alphabet 10p is f for fish and chips and then e for english breakfast and i for ice cream favorite old denomination coin is the sixpence i don't know why i just i think it's very very cool um Oliver Daniels says, did you play any instruments when you were younger? I played the drums. I've still got a drum kit, um, and but I haven't played it for a very, very, very long time. Um, Mr. Stan says, if you could put any planet, any plant, planet, any plant on a coin, what would it be? Uh, well, you've got roses, you've got leeks, you've got thistles and shamrocks. Um... I don't know. I'm trying to think of quintessentially British. We've got the oak tree on the 10p. Um, I don't know. I can't think of anything more iconic of British flora. Uh, stinging nettles. <laughs> the stinging nettles in every country. Let's put some stinging nettles on a coin and make them sting you as well. That could be great. <laughs> Imagine hunting through coins. All of a sudden, ow! <laughs> Amazing. Ooh, 2018. We could have something good here. Well, we are. It's going to be an alphabet. What's it going to be? Wow. B for Bond. What a stunner. B and M. <laughs> Not sponsored, obviously. Other retailers are available. Uh, stack stack save UK says what is better gold or silver coins it's entirely down to you uh, that sounds more like an investment question um, I know nothing about uh, investing in coins I like collecting circulating coins um, and I don't do it as an investment I do it for the love of hunting and collecting coins um, there are lots of stacking channels that you can go and check out and they will give you much more in-depth advice than I could potentially because the only precious metal coins I buy are commemorative ones and I buy them because they're commemoratives. I don't buy them as a future investment. So I've got no plans to sell or cash in my collection at any point. It's purely my collection. Ooh, what's that? St. Helena Ascension. What a stunner. Um, 
Kenneth Booth says you should name and shame the chances. I think I'll have to send a postcard too. So whenever I do a giveaway, I always make mention, if you're not the actual winner, don't try and claim a prize because I will find you out because it's impossible to beat the system that I've got in place to identify you are who you say you are. And people have in the past tried to claim those prizes. And um, yes, the <laughs> I don't want to name and shame those people, but not because I feel upset for them if effectively they were trying to defraud me of uh of or well, defraud me of my hard-earned money uh, and defraud you of a potential prize so i don't feel i wouldn't feel um upset about naming and shaming those people but i don't want to make that a plinth that someone could then stand on i don't i wouldn't want say if i called someone out as being oh this is the person that tried to cheat the, the latest giveaway um, and then someone goes, oh, I'd like to have a mention like that. I'm going to do something really stupid so that I get a mention like that. Um, so, yeah, that's this. It's, there is. Um, uh, there's been lots of things in the past where I could make a comment. I could express my opinion on something um, about something negative going on. But I've deemed it's probably more it's probably more beneficial to that negative aspect to talk about it for people to then go over and look at it than it is for me to stay stum and just don't publicize it because sometimes with some things any publicity is good publicity and you don't want to be feeding even through calling someone or something out you don't want to be a part of that um funnel of people to go and have a look uh i hope that makes sense for some of you <laughs> um Next question. Fidget Master says, I subscribed and have liked the video. Also, what is your favorite type of grass? Uh, lots of people have been telling me, I've got friends that have got, uh, um, what's it called? It's not asbestos. Is it asphalt? The fake grass, plastic grass that you just hose down instead of having to cut the grass. I think that sounds very cool. I've never had it and I've never sat on it. I would love to see how realistic it feels to sit on fake a AstroTurf. Is that it? AstroTurf, that sounds like some sort of 60s space uh, villain. AstroTurf. <laughs> anyway, we're getting a little bit off track here. Um, Joe26 says, what is your favourite dessert? I assume that's des dessert and not desert. Um, by the way, you are a great YouTuber. Please help keep the great videos coming. Thank you for being a good YouTuber. Please, everyone like the video. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Uh, favourite dessert? Oh... Carrot cake, chocolate cake, cheesecake, any of the above or all of the above, and I would be very, very happy. Um, Tony Skinner says, what to ask? Well, what would you like to see? Would you like to see a circulated five pound coin? I have not had a silver brew two pound coin for about 10 years now. Uh, 100%. The more coins we have in circulation, the more coins there are hunts. There are the, blah, blah, blah. the more coins that are in circulation, the more there are to hunt through, the more videos I can make, the more commemoratives there are for us to find. I would absolutely love a five pound coin, 100%. Or I go out on a limb to say if they made commemorative banknotes, so limited runs of commemorative uh, things on banknotes like they do with the coins, uh, that could persuade me to start hunting through banknotes. But um, who knows? Not me, that's for sure. AJ Voss says, stunning giveaways. As an old chopper boy, I'd love to say the chopper, but no, the Spitfire would be my top. The South African Air Force turned 100 years old last week. Um, the second oldest Air Force after the RAF. So all five of these coins are winners. That's awesome. Um, J Max says, hi, Christopher. Just wanted to let you know I've been subscribed for about a year and a half now. I'm a big coin collector and I and just wanted to get into this giveaway because you never know if I can strike lucky. Also, the question for me is, how many Q guns do you have all together? I have three, one 2009, one two 2019 and one silver proof copy. Uh, lol, thanks matey, John. I've got the two that I found, the two circulating ones. Uh, one before I started making videos, one after I started making videos, September 20... 18, I think. Yeah, 2018. September of 2018, that's, that's when I found the Q guns on video. Um, and if you're counting your 2019 reissue, I got the 2019 issue reissue in the 50 years of the 50p set. Uh, but other than that, I don't. Although I do have actually, and I've done it, I've kept it, to my, kept, kept it close as well. 
This was sent into the PO box. When it wants to focus. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. Come on. So someone coloured in a Q Gardens 50p design and sent it to the PA box. And I, for some reason I've kept that to hand. <laughs> I think it's really cool. It's a good luck charm. Um, Bill Armbruster, Armbruster says, well done for reaching 40k. What an amazing giveaway. It served in the RAF long before you were born. So I would love to win. Thanks. Well, thank you for your comment. Thank you for your service. Um, Dean Shotton says, do you collect 20Ps and are there any rare 20Ps? Uh, there are rare, 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 rare. There are rare 20Ps. Um, I do collect them if I get my hands on them. I don't hunt through bags of them because there aren't enough commemoratives to find. Um, but yeah, there are, there's the undated one. There are territories ones that you shouldn't really find in UK circulating change, but the chances are you will. Um, but yes, it's not a coin that I actively hunt through. If they started releasing commemorative ones, you know I would be hunting through them for sure. Global Hunter 17 says, fantastic prizes. Christopher, love your videos. There is something for everyone. Question, do you think we will soon become a cashless society? I don't think it'll be soon. Uh, it, in a hundred years, will we still be using coins? Possibly not, probably not. Um, but there are enough people that are reliant on physical cash that they won't do away with it. Are we gonna see less and less circulating coins? Yes. Are we gonna see more years where no new coins have been in circulation? Yes. Are we going to see more uh, designs or commemorative coins made just for the collectors and not circulated? Yes. Um, it is the nature of the world we live in that uh, we are moving away from physical cash, but we won't go totally cashless in the immediate future. I can't foresee that happening. Um, the, well, the, the, the powers that be would love everything to be cashless because then every transaction is on a card, a credit card, a debit card, PayPal, and that's all traceable. That destroys money laundering operations. It destroys lots of illegal uh, operations. Um, it avoids any tax dodging. It avoids uh, other other types of fraud because there's no f physical cash, which is the preferred transactional da -da 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 type for those kind of illicit activities. So. Um, obviously there is there's also the, the data involved um, I worked for a bank at, at, that was looking into starting to do this but your bank account has a, your bank has a lot of details about you you lots of information about you about your spending purchases your spending habits your dis they, 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 they can see how much disposable income you've got um, so the example was say you go to Costa every morning to buy your coffee before you go to work five days a week sick day if you go on a Saturday as well um, Starbucks would love that information and the bank could sell that information to Starbucks and then Starbucks could then send you a voucher and say ah here's 50% off a week's coffee if you come to Starbucks so the bank wins because they get paid by the companies that they're selling the data from you win because you've got free money off of uh, your coffee Starbucks wins because they might have a chance to then win you as a regular customer but that didn't sit well with me I the idea of selling your information I, I, I don't feel very comfortable with it's not a case of wanting to hide anything it's just I'm not sure I want to be a commodity and I know I already am but any, anything in this world where that if it is free you are the product your free email addresses your social medias um, the social media is they're free to use but you're the product because the advertising the videos that then generate the advertising revenue you are the you are we are all commodities um and yeah it's a weird sort of thing we've got very deep into this conversation now and i think we should end it before <laughs> what's my favorite coin i think we need to answer a coin related question because i've gone completely off on a tangent my favorite coin is the frankenstein two pound coin closely followed by Isaac Newton 50p and then with that being said we'll get back to the coins well there we go that's our finds from today's hand we got two jerseys we've got the letter B and the letter M they're very cool both 18s we got 
a an Isle of Man Chicken Rock Lighthouse, 2009. Always nice to find Isle of Man, but the star find. Look at this, St Helena Ascension, 1998. Ten pence. Look at those, aren't they cool? So as much as it is nice to find the alphabet ten p's, this is gonna be my star find of the hunt, I think. Well, as ever, all that leaves me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye!